Ooh, a diamond mercury. Now this is different for me. Um, mostly because, well, I don't typically run into too many diamonds. And I beat a mercury before. Uh, of course, not diamond, but this is going to be fun. Uh, I've chosen not to go with a defensive beginning. Mostly because, well, lifesteal is a core part of my Osiris. And maintaining lifesteal is um, kind of how I try to win it. Minions have spawned. Take me serious, Mercury. Okay. With Mercury going to get a buff, I'm going to see if I can dominate the lane. Denied him a lot of gold right there. It's getting crits first, so. So this is going to become a slow whittle me down. He's at half life, I'm at half mana. Stay away. Ooh. Gotta maintain a very dominant presence or he'll come back. Sir, I don't allow backs. Hmm. Ah, fudge. Go all right, he beat me out of lane, but he's out in alt and out of dash. He ain't gonna get me. So we'll bolt back. I'm gonna probably get this and start with the, that. And I gotta get 670 to make that worth my while. Um, he's probably gonna have the golden bow by the time we get back um, to lane. And what that does against me is makes that little major look hurt bad. And the problem I've had with that is it, it gets to hurt so bad that once he's got you, he's got you. He's not showing up to lane, so I'm going to take speed buff, grab it, run, and uh, get Witchblade. And the purpose of that is so that I can arrive in lane with some armor to help reduce that critical damage. Now so far I've seen Osiris be a very anti-Mercury character so far. That's just my history with Mercury's. I've lost a one, and uh, unfortunately it was more or less because I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, and if you think I'm just making an excuse, I mean, I literally had to surrender because I had to go that bad. Now with his health even lower, I'm going to maintain jungle dominance by taking one of the power buffs, which he took. Interesting. Let me check his speed buff, make sure it's clocked. I wonder if he took left damage already. There we go. If we trade that every time, I will be quite happy. Oh, no, 
that's unfortunate for Mercury. I don't know if I can catch him. Oh, no, I could not catch him. Gotta take this time now to quickly run for a uh, damage buff. Take it before he gets back. He did expend his ult, so there will be no catching up to me real quick. And the chance that he actually caught me, I would actually be pretty screwed. So I am going to back out a bit. Just not much, just enough to, you know, safely run for my life. A wise choice. Uh, with all that said and done, I could probably get another piece of damage, which is uh, crits. Be able to fight him back. Um, so far he's missed a couple of his very basic um, combos like just grab me in the dash. I've actually been very fortunate about that so far. Hey, over there. Hey, you nope. So the trades are in my favor, thankfully. Uh, he's got a back every time. And I won't let him just back in the lane. And really, this works very well for me for now. Um, Mostly because I'm building damage quickly, and usually when I have damage advantage, um, I maintain this advantage, don't get much more powerful afterwards, but then I just kind of hold the aggression I can have. Okay. As you can see, he had all sorts of advantage on me, and I'm not going to let him go far. I saw that. I saw you run for your life. Now I'm going to wait for him to back, which then is going to give me an opportunity. I'm going to go for his speed. Um, dangerous move, honestly. If I can get it, kudos. If I can't, he got me. for a little bit and you can hold on to that for a little bit I'm very happy that you didn't end up killing me that would have been terrible on my part um, but I got away and all was good your middle tower is under attack good hits on my tower and you got speed buff I was down to half and this is where what? you're doing good until you did that I'm very sorry um, I don't know I feel pretty mellow this game mostly because I don't know I don't know I just feel mellow. The reason I really don't care about his tower too much is solely because, well, 
to be very honest. The tower will go down when I have armor. But him giving me money puts me closer to my end. And my end game is by far most important. Now if he gets my phoenix on the other hand, I don't go it. So I've taken all of the left jungle, and he's stuck with whatever he's got. A big problem that I've noticed that I've been getting manhandled by is uh, characters that literally ignore you to damage your objectives. And I think Kali was the worst. Just stunned me, fought the Titan on its own, and ulted so it didn't kill her, and got it. And Made me feel special. You wanna dance? That's where you messed up. Come on. Tag. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think I won't. Don't think I won't. Yeah, that's right. Now it's time to return the favor. Minions, save me! How many seconds? I got 16. Is that even enough? Nah, but I can get a few hits and run. Oh man, that was intense. Good fight. Now as close as that match got is about as close as it's gonna get, I think. Um, with more armor, he just, again, it kind of gets weaker. And I get that he's going to be critting me, but I'm going to be critting too, and he's going to be reflecting. Ah, da, 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 da. Whatever. Whatever floats our boats, I suppose. Need minions to push out of it so I can get them. Come on, follow me. Now I've got power. And I can get hide. Your now he's going for objective, which is not good. So with this in mind now, he can kind of run past me, so I'm going to play defensive, oh, make sure he doesn't get past me, and, uh, well, you know, take my stuff. percent movement speed with Hazen Fatalis I've got 25. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna attempt to take damage and then get sprint in order to keep up with him.
I will not let him through. my speed right when it came back. He's just gonna go start taking jungle out and that's okay. If he has to truly run from every fight, it's kind of a blessing. It's good news for me that he can't take me in a fight right now. And mostly because I actually don't even need boots. I'm going to beat him with raw power. That's going to be fun. For the first time, I'm going to have a I'm going to be able to fight with power. Typically I get boots and right now I don't even see the point. And you're done. Sorry, Mercury. Ooh, man. Alright, with this kind of advantage, I'm almost unstoppable. But getting no boots? Good idea. It's. It, it may not let me keep up with Mercury, per se, like if he were to just run from me, oh, he'd run. But in return, I'm able to just hurt him. And he hurts himself while attacking me, which kind of nullifies that lifesteal he's got. him to back. got me. Couldn't fight that. So now I've got the crit damage. I need better beads. Um, I can't believe the beads didn't really get me out. I was really hoping they would get me out of the pop-up, but I guess when you're already popped up, it doesn't do you any good. I'm still trying to get a hold of what crowd control really is, being um, crowd control. It's kind of like... Uh, how can I put it? You could be popped up in the air, but it's not really crowd control. Sorry. That's how I feel. That's how the game treats me. Okay. I can grab it. Thank you. Right, he's down in alt. I'm just about to get my alt back. Which means he's going to run, which is fine. Which I'm gonna have to play footsies with him a little bit. Yeah, can't keep up with him even with a speed buff. My beads aren't even back. I still got another 30 seconds before I can use them.
take his speed? Yeah, he did. And Phoenix is only at half. I'm guessing it doesn't heal any more than that, unfortunately. I would appreciate a healing Phoenix. Back out, heal real quick. Which I am slow as hell, holy crap. Alright. The best thing I can do now is upgrade boots. So he got Neiman too. Hopefully I can handle him. Oh wow, really? That is unfortunate. Good fight, very. <sighs> but with the problem with Mercury is once you go defensive, you're defensive and you're lacking an immense amount of power. I can't type to you right now, I'm sorry. I honestly couldn't tell you either, my friend. Osiris is pretty powerful. 